Welcome to Let's Talk About It with Daisy Gates. Hi, I'm Daisy Gates. Let me give you a little bit about myself. I am a Miami native that is now residing in Atlanta, Georgia. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, instrumentalist, and also a music educator. I do a plethora of other things in the entertainment industry, but those are a few that's related with music. So we're going to talk about copyright on today. And I want people to get a better understanding and to know what is copyright. For those of you that do not know what a copyright is, it is a type of intellectual property that protects original works of authorship as soon as an author fixes the work in a tangible form of expression. So in the copyright law, there are a lot of different types of works, including paintings, phot- photographs, illustrations, musical compositions, sound recordings, computer programs, books, poems, blog posts, movies, architectural works, plays, and a whole lot of other things that goes under the meaning of copyright everyone is a copyright owner so once you create your original work and fix it it's like taking a photograph you are the author and the owner okay so basically you as a creator you want to be protected and you don't want people taking your stuff that you have took the time out to create all right So it's very important that you get your stuff copyrighted. And this is another thing that people have been saying growing up that is that does not protect you. If someone steals your stuff, there is something called a poor man's copyright. So I'm going to read this to you and let you know that according to the U.S. Copyright Office, the practice of sending a copy of your own work to yourself is sometimes called a poor man's copyright. There is no provision in the copyright law regarding any such type of protection. It is not a substitute for registration. Also, when you are um, copywriting, you are letting the, you are letting the public know that you own the copyright um, of whatever work you copyrighted. So it'll be easier for you personally to claim set that claim that that belongs to you and not the other person. Okay, so that's why it's very important for your work especially if you plan to take legal action against anyone for using your um work without permission so that's the main reason why you need to get your stuff copyrighted i i will be sharing more things about the history of the copyright and how it came about all right thanks for listening make sure you go ahead and share if you want to subscribe if you want to you know i really don't like asking people to subscribe and like you do as you wish like dislike don't share share but you know as long as you took the time to get to this end to hear me say this i really appreciate it all right have an amazing day night or morning